welcome back folks I have set up all our diamonds here so all we need to do is say remote local demand and we will start seeing diamonds coming in or kimberlite ore coming in so that we can start producing our uh, diamonds and we need to produce 60 seconds so that's what we're doing well actually actually we need to produce more but I think it's all good I think it's all good uh, yeah I think yeah so we have 120 uh, a second set up and that's what we'll be producing. Each of these lines will produce 30 a second. So we have tons of Kimberlite ore coming in. And we have tons of diamonds being made, which is wonderful. And you can see all these lines are filling up. Uh, why are you not producing? Oh, dang it. Uh, this one needs to be set to Kimberlite or... So let's just head down to the end. And we will pick up a bunch of diamonds. There we go. And we'll just stick all those diamonds in here. Okie dokie. So that is diamonds being made. All the diamonds that we need. Now, I also set up over here. I set up a bit of um, copper smelting. So we'll just say local demand. And local demand and that'll give us uh, 360 copper ingots a second so there we go it's coming in and of course as we talked about before it's all coming into these five towers up here So these five towers are providing all of the ore, more or less. So that's all good. Now, now that we have that set up, our uh, particle container production is actually producing. And what we need to set up now What did I need the diamonds for? I don't even remember now. Oh, for the graviton lenses. And the graviton lenses will need all of those. So we have that product ready for the graviton lenses. And we have the particle containers ready for this. So we need iron ingots and deuterium which we are already producing to make the strange matter. Now, the science has slowed way down and it is as I as blah, 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 blah as I suspected, we ran out of graviton lenses. So over here on mass so this is mass 5, we need to go to mass 3. There it is. Because we, we're, we're, we're out of space on Mars 1. There are so many resources that we need to mine up over there. Uh, and we've basically built everywhere where there isn't resources. So 
I have started building over here on Mars 3 again as well. Um, well, I haven't really started building yet, uh, but I will. And that's what we're going to do in this episode. We're going to set up strange matter right here. So let's first of all give you some power so you can start charging up. I have set this up. And Mars 3 is, of course, where we're launching our rockets from. And if we take a look at our Dyson Sphere, we're actually sending more solar sails out than we can consume right now because some of these are done. So what we need to do is we need to set up another set of triangles here. So we need to come out here and out there and fill that in. And we basically need to do that all the way around the star. So let's just do that real quick. So that we get another set of stuff going. There, and the final one. Then we just need to fill in all of these. And there we go. They're all filled in. And we can see we have rockets coming now. A whole bunch of them. So they will start building those nodes, which is wonderful. And there's the next set of rockets. We're up to 32.4 gigawatts now, which is wonderful. Quite a few of these have started being completed, so that's nice. That's very nice indeed. So nodes are being built. Fan-frickin-tastic. Autosave. And there's the next couple of batches of rockets coming in. Awesome. So that's all going. Now. We're not actually producing enough power here to do what I want to do. So we need to set up a power supply somewhere. You know what, let's just go up here. And we'll set up a tower. Let's set it up right here. And you need power. And then we need some of these. Let's do there. Two, three. Four, five. Let's just start with five. Uh, I need to tell you to request antimatter fuel rods. You also need some of these guys and some of these guys. And this can be there. Just need a hundred. Uh, local storage, remote demand. We'll get a thousand because I still haven't adjusted that over uh, where we're producing them.
And let's get this going. Okay, and I think I'll just stick in some of these. Okay. Alrighty. Now, how is our power situation? Consumption demand 880 something. So that little row of five there is not going to be enough. Let's double that to 10. That'll be 750 just from that. How many was that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Orders. There we go. And these just need to arrive, and all will be perfect. There goes the next set of rockets. This looks so cool. Okay. Now, uh, we're gonna need these guys. Uh, let's just grab something like 200. Uh, that's more than I had room for, really. Well, I had exactly room for 200, I think. Okay. So, particle gliders, they're huge and they take a lot of power. So, actually, the power that we got from this is probably not going to be enough. Oh, here they go, here we go. Taking off. <laughs> and again. Oof. Man, that looks cool. Alright, so production. Particle colliders. We're going to need 240 of these. 240. So... These things take 10 deuterium, 2 particle containers, and 2 iron ore. So we can only set up... 24 in a row because they take eight seconds to make so they need more deuterium yeah so 24 24 is what we can set up in a row so we're gonna need 10 rows of these because we need 240 of them so if we Did uh, deuterium and deuterium uh, Let's actually bring this in to here. Something like that. Um, uh, 
We then need these to be set up here. So one of them needs to come over one more. Like that. It can't be right in the middle, unfortunately. That would have been nice. Then we have the particle containers. And... No, not deuterium. Dang it. Uh, what the... And you need to be... Iron plate. There. Then you need to make... Strange matter. There. So that's four lines. So that means that we can have three lines on one of these. But let's just make two lines on one of these and set up five. So that actually means that we can do deuterium. Uh, no, we can do. Oh, come on, deuterium. No, how the hell do I want to do this? Alright, we need four lines in between. So if we set up something like... Let's just set up here. Then we need four lines in between. One. Two. Three and four, and then you need a input line. But I actually don't think I want to send it into the same tower. So something like that. And then we can have the same setup on the other side of the equator. So there, and then four lines, and you come in there, and an output. Okay, so that means that we'll have the turn there, then we'll have the particle containers, then we'll have iron, and then we'll have deuterium.
And the same goes on the other side. Deuterium. Strange matter. Yeah. Iron. And deuterium. Okay. And then, of course, we need power. Which will stick in here. And stick in here. And that works out. So, let's turn with you to make strange matter. And let's get some sorters in here. So this is output. It looks a little bit weird. You know what? Let's just do that. That's fine. And then we need to turn the next one and the next one. And then we need to turn and the next one, and the next one. And an output, and an output. And no. They look, kind of look like they're a little bit off, but they're not. Okay. So then we can copy these. Let's just copy some of them. Mainly because I need space for more belt. Okay. And power should be four in between, I think. And that'll be fine. Four of the big squares. So this gives us a little bit of space for some belt. Which I think we're getting up here now. All right, then we're getting it down here. Yes. Yeah, so this is actually four rows and we need 10, right? So I actually think on the next one we'll make five rows, because we can. We have the three output lines there. So yeah. And the autosaves are starting to take some time. This is nowhere near enough belt for 24 in a row. Oh, we might have to get rid of those stone veins. I actually thought that I would have enough space here, but apparently not. Alright. Let's see how many this allows us to put down.
So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, so that was 20, that means that we need four more. So coming out to here is probably enough. But yeah, we are definitely gonna have to put these under. And the titanium veins under. That's fine though. 21, 22, 23, 24. And we need to be here as well. And you can actually come back one more. It looks a little weird that. I don't like that. Let's make them one longer. Like that. Okay, and it's one, two, three, four, five in between. One, two, three, four, five. That looks like too much. One, two, three, four, five in between. One, two, three, four, five, there. No, 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 no. Uh, because our output line is going the same way. Yeah, so we need 240 of these machines to... to make... 30th second of the strange matter. Which is basically what we need. He's in here. Okay. So, we're gonna need some more belt, which I can get down the other end. sorters do we have? Not a lot. Well, once we stick this belt in, we'll be better off. 
So let's just do that. belts out to where they need to be there it's a lot of belts that we're using here that's okay too long. Let's just shorten it a bit. Like that. Get the rest in. There we go. So, us missing the graviton lenses is not only a problem for science, it's also a problem for uh, our warper production. So, I think once we've set up these two lines, we will just fire them up and see how they're doing, and then I will set up uh, the next line on my own. Since there actually can be five lines on one tower, I really should just do two towers of five. I think that makes sense. Because I can stick another line in here. It won't be entirely symmetrical, but I guess it is what it is. Lack of item, we're missing sorters. We are missing sorters. Oh, there was a wave of rockets there. percent of the way there. Let's stick in a transport tower. Actually, mm, yeah, it's fine. So. There, and you can be taken back at it. No, not the sorter. Go there. Okay. 
Let's stick in some power and fire these guys up. Powers the tower as well, which is good. Let's go back here and stick them in on this side. And then I think I'll stick a line on down here as well, and then we'll build the next tower over here. And stick five lines on that as well. But right now, I want to say local demand, local demand, local demand, remote storage, remote storage, remote storage. And then I want to... I think actually down here. I will set up a few towers. Uh, oh, that was one, two, three, four. Five. Uh, let's actually use this power here, because then one of these can power two. Right, yeah. And then we don't actually need you or you. Now, this does mean that we're a little low on power. And we're not even producing yet over at the other ones, so... One, two, three, four, five. Hopefully that's enough. We can set up some more if need be, but... I'd like this to be enough. There we go. It's also, of course, because the towers were ch are charging right now. So. You need those. You need those. And you know what? I think what I'll do is just run this like this. Uh, I should of course tell it to be those and I should tell you to be those and then we'll just get our Space warpers like that. And that'll be fine. Okay, everyone has space warpers. So now you need to request um, particle containers, uh, iron ingots, and deuterium. Right. 
Yeah. So remote demand, remote demand, remote demand. Come on. Demand. And you need the same particle containers. Uh, iron ingots. And deuterium. Remote demand, remote demand, remote demand. Now, now that we have two of them set up, let's just see, are we... We're not getting anything yet right now. I want to see it fire up. Uh, particle containers, iron ingots, and deuterium, remote demand, remote Remote, remote, demand, remote, demand, remote, demand. Uh, you need some of these, some of these. Did you get that? Nope. Didn't. There. You need some of these, some of these. Uh, particle containers. Uh, iron ingots. Deuterium, remote demand, remote demand, remote demand. And you, particle containers, uh, iron ingots, and deuterium. Remote demand, remote demand, and remote demand. Okay, and it looks like we are getting something. We're not getting everything yet, that, yet though. What are we missing? We're missing the iron ingots so far. But they should be coming. containers, we have a lot of deuterium, oh, sorta. The iron ingots aren't that far away. Bring some iron ingots, Danny. Are there iron ingots on the way? Yes, there are. And I think here they come. No, that's more particle containers and more deuterium. Oh, here comes some iron ingots. Just a few, but some. And we are producing. We are producing. Hooray for that. made it to the end of it yet though, but uh, we need strange matter, we need that, we need that, you need local demand remote storage. Okay, so once this gets fully up to speed, We'll be making three, six, nine, twelve. Twelve. Strange matter a second. And with another line, then it's fifteen. And then with another tower and five lines, that's thirty. So, yeah. And we are consuming 2.26 gigawatts of power. 2.26 gigawatts. Jesus. So these things, when they're active, take 12 megawatts of power. So 
Yeah. Dyson Sphere. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. So that'll double our amount of suns or stars as they are. Okay. This is a lot of antimatter fuel rods that we're using. But that's okay. Okay. 2.53 gigawatts. So we're probably gonna need some more because... Basically... Uh, we need to more than double our number of these guys. So yeah, I think we're gonna have to more than double it. Now, now that this is running a little bit, let's head quickly over to Mars 1. If I can find it, it's over here, I think. Yep. Here is Mars 1. And... Boom. Landed. Now... Here on Mars 1, I actually prepared to make 30 graviton lenses a second. So this is already set up. But we're not requesting the stuff. So let's request remote demand, remote demand. So we have Four times four times forty-five uh, assemblers set up to make thirty graviton lenses a second. Now the problem is we need more than thirty graviton lenses a second because we need graviton lenses for the science, we need to make the green science, we need to make more green science than 30 a second because we use that to make our space warpers. We also need graviton lenses for our uh, solar collectors, array receivers, these guys, because they use them to produce more antimatter for us. So this is actually not enough. But this is for science setup. This is for our science setup. That's the way it's intended anyway. So that was the strange matter that arrived. Are diamonds on their way? On diamonds. Uh -oh. Man, no. Local storage, local storage. Where's our diamonds? Come on. 
I want to see this work. Now, are we requesting diamonds down here? I don't think so. Nah. Nah. Oh, here comes some diamonds. And we are producing graviton lenses. Which is fantastic. Now these take uh, four diamonds and one uh, strange matter. So we have two belts of diamonds and two belts of diamonds and then one and one belt of strange matter. Here comes some more strange matter. And I have not set you up to accept graviton lenses. And you will be local and remote supply. Now down here of course, you need some graviton lenses as well. You will be local demand too. So we are producing not fast enough yet, but we will once we get our strange matter up and running then we'll be producing fast enough for science at least uh, then we need to set up a bit more uh, I'm thinking around half more for uh, for ray receivers and stuff like that space warper production So hopefully, soon our science will start looking a lot better. It's actually picking up a bit now. But very, very nice. Very, very nice indeed. And we just need a few more strange matter coming in. We actually have 2,000 on the way now, which is great. How's the power looking on this planet? It's looking fine. And up here, I guess they are getting graviton lenses now. Yeah, they actually have quite a few graviton lenses stored up. So they don't use them very fast, the graviton lenses, which is nice. So we don't need that many of them. We don't need that many of them. I mean, it's filling up. And we're not even at, well, a tenth of our production capability, I think. So, it should be okay. It should be okay, and our science will certainly pick up with this once uh, this uh, planet is fully stocked with its graviton lenses. Because it just won't request that many. So I am very, very happy with this. Very, very happy with this. Uh, 
This is great. This is great. And this is basically full now. So there, basically full. Which means that science will start getting some. Yeah, here comes a vessel. Maybe from science, I hope from science, but maybe over from the other planet where we're grabbing uh, solar rays as well. That could also be. Let's wrap up by taking a look at our Dyson Sphere. It's up to 35.1 gigawatts. And it looks like all our nodes are done. So, yeah, no more rockets being launched. All the nodes are done. And the sales are starting to come in and we're back to having around 2,400, 2,500 sales in orbit at all times. So that is cool. Starting to look like something, isn't it? I think it is. I think it's really, really cool. Especially from out here. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.